What's going on, you guys? It's Kevin back here with a brand new best flips of January 2022. First month of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Starting it off right. In these best flip of the month videos, I basically tell you guys my best sales of the month. Not the least best sale, but we start at sale number 10 and then move all the way up to sale number one. Anybody that's new here, my name is Kevin. I'm a full time reseller and I make these types of videos to inform you guys on how to start. Re and I make these types of videos to inform you guys on what I sell. So without further ado, let's get on to the best sales of January, 2022. So sale number 10, you guys, we got some Nike Vapor Max Flyknit 3 women's size 12. We picked this up at the Nike outlet for $72.08. We got these 15% off, so that's great. We sold these bad boys for $180 on Mercari, paid $849 to get them shipped out. Fees were $23.52, and we walk away with a profit of $75.91, which I cannot complain about. We got all of our money back. Moving on to cell number nine, you guys. We got some Air Jordan 4s. These are the Lightning ones. These were a men's size 13. We bought them for $205.20 off sneakers. <laughs> we hit on there. We sold these bad boys on GOAT for $330. Paid $0 to get it shipped out. Fees on GOAT were hefty $45.16, but we still walk away with a great profit of $79.64. These, I, I believe we held for like around two to three months. Not 100% sure on how long, but I was like, why am I holding these? Like, why am I waiting to sell them? I don't even think I had them pictured, which is, you know, my fault. But I went ahead and listed them on Go, and they sold within a day. Or so. I was not looking to hold those. For release shoes that I buy, I basically just, you know, at this point, I'm going for them, but I'm going to be trying to sell them, you know, probably the same day or the same week or, you know, as fast as I can because I don't want to hold them. And that's just because, you know, putting in that, you know, amount of money into just one shoe. Um, I don't find it ideal unless, you know, I'm getting back 100% ROI when I'm holding it or, you know, waiting to sell it. But with those shoes, you know, I'm willing to, you know, put down 200 bucks, get back $76 same day. Basically a guarantee for some shoes. I'm glad there are different types of shoes to buy when reselling. Also, by the way, you guys see the new background. I'm basically downstairs in my inventory room or basically in my basement. And I'm filming here just because I wanted to, you know, get a new look. I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments how the yellow background looks. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, but this is this room was basically my sister's for like a couple of like around a year or something. I believe the only thing she did down here was put on lashes. She's a lash tech or whatever. And yeah, but now it's my room. She has a, a little room in here because she doesn't need that much space. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Moving on to cell number seven, we got some Nike Air Max 270s. These are a women's size nine and a half. They were white and pink, and I believe they had like a yellow or green, like a bright yellow swoosh, if I'm not mistaken. All around, very clean shoe. We paid $54.06 for these at the Nike outlet. We sold them on eBay for $105, paid $0 in fees back when, you know, eBay didn't have any fees. Rip. That is no longer a thing. It is what it is. I paid $10.68 to get these bad boys shipped out. And at the end of the day, we walk away with a profit of $80.26, which is just great. These we picked up at the Nike store and I believe I got like 15% off of them. They were refurbished, sold them as new with defects because I believe there was some paint or something on the insole that I couldn't take out myself. So uh, I, I took a picture of it, listed it like that and it sold. And I said the previous sell was sell number seven. My mistake, that was best sell number eight. This is moving on to best sell number seven. We got some Adidas Super Sleek 72 Ivy Park shoes. These were a, a humongous size 11 and a half for women's. And I'm pretty sure a woman is not going to be rocking these. I'm pretty sure it's a men. We paid $53 even for these at the Adidas store. Sold them for a whopping $150 on eBay. Paid $13.90 to get it shipped out. Paid $1.50 in eBay fees. That's for the promoted listing. And we walk away with a profit of $81.60. Gotta love it. These Adidas Ivy Park Super Sleek shoes platforms are now flooded, unfortunately, at the Adidas outlets with 50% off, I believe. So, you know, it sucks, but I got those pretty early on before everybody else. Shout out to my Adidas outlet. You know, I've moved some so far, but I have like around like maybe 10 sitting, if I remember correctly. But, you know, we're just gonna wait on those to sell. I'm probably just gonna lower the price on some of them and make a little bit of profit and keep moving on and keep reinvesting moving on to cell number six you guys we got some nike air more up tempos these were a size 5y they were like white air up tempos and i believe they had like a little mint like 
around the where the air is on the shoe um you guys are gonna see a picture i believe over here we picked these up for 45 dollars and five cents at the nike outlet sold them on ebay for 150 dollars paid 11.28 to get them shipped out these were 12 dollars it's funny how some of these sales like intercross with each other um, when there was no fees on eBay and now there are fees, but we walk away with a great profit of $81.67 on these bad boys. These were refurbished as well and I sold them as new. Nothing was wrong with them. Glad they were okay. Moving on to cell number five, you guys. Halfway up the list now, we got some Air Max 90s, women's size eight and a half. These I believe were called like Sesame or oh, the colorway is called Sesame something. A uh, pretty clean shoe overall. We paid $46.85 for these bad boys at the Nike outlet. They were refurbished as well. Saw them on eBay for 100 and so it looks like we paid zero dollars in shipping to get these shipped out as well as zero dollars in fees and we walk away with a profit of 83 dollars and 14 cents so moving on to sell number four you guys we got some nike vapor edge 360 football shoes these were men's size nine and a half they were like the zebra colorway we picked these up at marshall's for 21 dollars and 60 cents we sold these bad boys on Go for $120, paid $0 to get them shipped out. Go takes your fee of $15, and we walk away with a profit of $83.40, which is insane. So you guys, I know you see the outfit change or just a different shirt. This is because my old video card basically ran out of space while I was recording, and I kept talking into the mic, and I thought I was still recording. Um, and all I really have is audio for that, and I'm not going to you know, just let you guys hear the audio. I'm going to re-record this, so it can maybe look better, but yeah moving on to our third best sell of january 2022 you guys we got some converse chuck taylor all-star high platform shoes these are a woman size eight and these were the it's okay to wander we picked these up for 59 dollars and 60 cents at the converse outlet we sold them on go for 173 dollars shipping was zero dollars fees were 25.99 and we walk away with a profit of 87 dollars and 41 cents which is just great You guys saw these It's Okay to Wander shoes in my Tennessee videos if you didn't go check it out. But me and Antonio, also known as Chamo Hunter, basically cleared these at the clearance store in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We got a lot and you know we're stead steadily selling them. They did drop in price. Um, I'm consistently moving them now for I believe like anywhere from 120 to 150. It's still a great, great shoe making around $40 each pair with a buy cost of like 60 something. I averaged them out. Moving on to our second best sell, you guys, we got some Air Jordan 3s, Red Thunders that we picked up at Full Locker. This is the first shoe that I've won on a raffle ever. These were a men's size 13 on the FLX app. So we paid $205.20 for these bad boys. Sold them on Go for $349. Shipping was $0. Fees were a whopping $47.49. Man, that's hefty. But we walk away with a great profit of $96.31. You really can't go wrong with some of these release shoes, you guys. A lot of them are like guaranteed sales on like GOAT and other platforms like that. I've been listening to my friend uh, Antonio's advice. He's more into the releases than I am and I just follow his advice. Sometimes I go off of my own intuition, you know, if the colorway looks good, stuff like that. I just cop it and see if it sells or not. But yeah, he's really helped me into getting into these types of flips. And yeah, like I said, really can't go wrong with them. Moving on to sell number one, you guys, we got some Nike Mercurial Vapor 14 Elites that we got at DickSportingGoods.com. These were a men's size 9, and they were like a sick crimson pinkish colorway. We put these up for $37.49. We sold them for $175 on eBay. Shipping was $9.64. Fees were $0. And we walk away with a whopping profit of $127.57, which is insane. We basically Bought them for that price on DickSportingGoods.com. I had a $110 reward on my account from buying at Dick. So I was like, let me just go find some shoes on Dick's.com. I believe it was about expired too. So didn't want to let $110 go to waste. So I went to the website, found those elites, and I was like, this this should work. Um, the comps weren't that high. I believe there was only for like $150 uh, on, on eBay. But I, I believe I got a good men's size, men's size 9. And, you know, I listed high. I believe they were listed for $200. And then I took an offer for $175. So, yeah, you know, you got to love it. Is it considered cheating or like, you know, these shoes um, were are originally, I believe, $150 or $140 on, on the Dick Sporting Goods website. But it's whatever. I'm going off of what I paid out of pocket, not of like rewards and stuff. So, you know, you take it how it is. But, yeah, you guys, it's going to conclude this. Best shoe flips of January 2022. It's really feeling a lot like Q4 because I've been focusing a lot of my, you know, time on ebay and sourcing for ebay specifically stuff like this is bound to happen if you put in the work and time into it so 
I really hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe and comment down below what you think of the sales. I really do appreciate you for watching to the very end. And as always, stay great. Also, we about to hit 1K, baby. Let's go.